Hello and welcome to Sunita Kumar's another video and today we are going to discuss that how and how long it actually took for me to settle down in Finland and what are the preparations that I did before coming here and what are the mistakes that I did and what kind of uh, a preparation you must be doing. So a few things that I'm going to tell you to do before coming to Finland in during transition and then after coming to Finland, there are a few things that you should be taking care of. When you are in your home country, there are things you need to take care of yourself before arriving here. And number one is whether you have received type A permit or type B permit or a student card. You need to take check the details about uh, you need to check the details whether all the information given in your permit card is correct or not whether it's in the right order or not like your security number that you will receive if it's a problem in in the in the data uh, that has been given to you then go back to the the department and they will correct in no time a lot of cases do happen in a way that they have to go and correct their data come prepared the next step is come prepared according to the weather of finland because if you are coming from uh, Asian countries, any part of Asia, whether it's India, like I came from India, but even if you're coming from other countries like Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia, or any other country, the weather is so different here that you will be, the moment you will land here, the weather is going to hit you in your bones. <clears throat> it's not about always cold. Maybe you will come in the month of summer. So you come prepared according to the weather here. So do a, ha do a little bit of shopping back home and do a little bit of shopping back home and do understand the weather. Question number three, where are you going to stay? What are the preparations you are doing before coming here for, for your stay? There will be many options actually that you can go, you can understand how you're going to stay. Like yes, the company that hired my husband gave him an apartment to stay for one, one, two months, literally. So it was, um, it was a relief. So we didn't, we did, we didn't have to figure out, uh, we didn't have to figure out from back home what, we, where we are going to stay. But in many cases, like if you're coming as a student, like if you're coming on your, um, you know, type B and you're not, if you're not receiving any facility from the company that has hired you either you're coming as a student or you are not going to you're completely coming independently then you need to figure out where you're going to stay so book in advance the right places and uh, um and see a uh, book in advance at least for 15 days and then you can by that time you can search for another more most more suitable place for you each step that i'm asking you to prepare are the links given in the description box now number four like if you're coming with your spouse and with your children where are your children going to study so that is a very big question typically come across like where shall we get them admitted now getting admission to non-finish schools is not an easy job because they have an amount of seat allotments so if they don't have a seat and if then your child will sit in waiting so it's important that from back home like two to two and a half months prior you start talking to the, the schools over here and the school authorities and find an appointment and fix an appointment the day you're going to go and meet them and get your child admitted into the school and that's very important that you do that homework from back home rather than coming here and figuring out where the child is going to study List number five you need to understand if your spouse whether he or she is coming on your on your permit like dependent on your permit what are they going to do over here it is important that you understand the psychology of your spouse as well that they are not coming here dependent but they are coming to to be you know with family so what are their agendas you need to sit and plan and discuss whether they will take a vocational course whether they will take a language course finish language course whether they will uh, they will uh, take uh, uh, you know extra something what what are their plans it's it's important to discuss that and check few things before coming that and, and plan throughout your tour 
uh, throughout your transition that what is the next step for their career and their you know well-being also number six number six start contacting the real estate agents over here because to get a house or get an apartment for yourself is not an easy job in finland and you need to be uh, very active so start contacting real estate agents and uh, or mail them and they book your time slot because over here viewing happens viewing of the apartment does take place in uh, like uh, two three families view it together and the owner decides the landlord decides whether you're going to receive uh, the whether you're going to receive the apartment or not so be very active in searching the apartment and from back home do start preparing and mailing uh, those real estate agencies that work. number seven book an appointment with a dvv dvv is a formality of registering yourself in municipality so if you're not registered in municipality you're not going to get that that so this happens only once you're getting the apartment also because or or otherwise you can be in the the hotel also and, uh, and uh, register yourself then change the address so dvv formality start doing it from back home and don't wait till you're reaching here and then you start doing so this was the to-do list from starting to start your journey for finland and now we will be discussing the to-do list once you reach here what are the things you need to take care of immediately